Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to set up the iPro Home HF antenna. The antenna elements come in a long tube and the rest of the components, together with the instructions, come in the box. Once you unpack the box, the only tools you need will be a 10mm spanner and a 13mm spanner. I recommend you wear gloves when handling the fiberglass rod or the aluminium tubes. First we're going to assemble the centre section of the antenna. Take one of the small clamps and then take the short aluminium tube and insert the end into the top half of the clamp. Then take the fiberglass rod with the four holes in it and Insert that centrally into the lower half of the clamp. Tighten the two nuts using the 10mm spanner to hold the two fiberglass rods in position. The fiberglass rod should then be rotated so that the holes are parallel to the aluminium tube as shown. The main elements can now be slid onto the central fiberglass rod. If you will be using guy lines to support the antenna, now is the time to fit the guy ring over the upper half of the GRP rod. In the video, the top element is shown on the left, and the top element can be identified as this is the one with the black end cap and the securing bolt to hold the end element in place. Align the two pairs of holes between the main elements on the fiberglass rod and then insert the outermost 6mm bolts into the holes. Fit the securing nuts and loosely tighten them up at this stage. Now we are ready to prepare and fit the matching transformer to the short aluminium tube. Firstly remove the dome nuts and securing washers, then fit the connecting strips with the flat end over the lugs, replace the washers and loosely tighten the dome nuts again. The matching transformer is then placed on the short aluminium tube with the connecting strips pointing upwards towards the elements and the coax connector pointing down away from the elements. Insert the two remaining M6 bolts through the innermost holes of the elements then through the angled end of the connection strips and secure the nuts on finger tight. The matching transformer is secured to the aluminium tube by inserting a cable tie through the hole in the base of the mounting block of the matching transformer and then tightening it around the tube. Once everything is aligned, all the nuts and bolts should be finely tightened up. I'm now going to fit the top end element, which can be identified with the centre markings being closer together. I'm going to insert it into the hole in the top of the main element, align the centre markings such as it's in the middle, and then tighten the securing bolt by half a turn. The lower end element is secured with a, the other small clamp. I'm going to insert the end element through the top half of the clamp. 
I'm going to slide the clamp onto the bottom of the main element, align the centre markings and also make sure that the element is parallel with the top end element, and then tighten the clamp nuts. The four end caps can now be pushed onto each of the ends of the two elements. I'm now going to prepare the ground pole to support the iPro home. In the video I'm using a parasol base with a short section of pole. Um, this is a very handy alternative for use on location. Slide the top half of the large clamp over the pole and tighten the four innermost nuts. Then insert the marked end of the remaining fiberglass rod between the pole clamp and the two base plates. Finger tighten the four nuts to hold the fiberglass rod in position. And then fully tighten all eight nuts using the 12mm spanner. The coax can now be attached to the connector on the matching transformer. I'm going to just put a stress relief loop on the supporting pole and secure it with a piece of insulating tape. Then use the length of self amalgamating tape provided to wrap around the connector and provide some waterproof sealing. The whole antenna assembly can now be lifted up and put onto the supporting rod on the ground pole. And the coax should be led away from the antenna at around 40 to 45 degrees, say. The antenna is now ready for use. Note an external ATU such as the LDG Z Pro 2 is recommended for access to all the bands. Thanks for watching. Please get in touch if you have any questions or comments.